Let's look at the map we will see right now. It will be border after the bands have already uh, come in. Our yes. But will the rounds make sense as well? That is the question. No? Oh, there he goes. Actually, glitch in the actual system right there. Jinx style gets the first one. Drops through immediately, wants to go up on the east stairs right now, but will be picked up by next one. Master is now stuck, uses last canister. Next one now takes down Sugo, meaning it's a three on two. As you actually takes down another one, it's a two on two. And it seems to be going south for Flashboy. 20 seconds left on the clock. Hayes now takes down one as well. And next one. Well, at least in the meantime. We are seeing Prism entering from the other side. Goes for a peak right there. Will be picked up by Jinx style. Next one gets sloth though. Ew. Eastwood, that is, gets a Wishmaster as well. Brings it up to a 4 and 3 quickly. As 4 and 5 once again are taking the upper hand in this round. ADS helping out Zugal a little bit, but the problem is the Jaeger himself will fall. Now the Diffuser has been uh, reloaded and uh, also work with the Miser moving in. Now actually a lineup here for Zugal and Dreamer will help him out. Back to a 2 and 2. And time is uh, still in their favor. It is in the favor of the attackers, of course, as it takes... Well, they have to make the move, and it's going to be all up to Dreamer now as next one takes one out. That's going to be Eastwood to finish things off. Great round from Eastwood, grabbing the opening and securing the final one as well right here. And that is two rounds in a row for four and five. Uh, Claymore actually has been removed and oh. replaced for Just a testing charge. You. As uh, Hayes now takes down Wishmaster, it's almost back to a free on free because the Bandit of Sloth. The rotation onto Vents. So if Hayes will be going outside, he could potentially get on with the plan right there. It's going to be Xugal to get picked up right there. Actually not finished off. It's going to be Dreamer to come in clutch oh. right there. Will lose his life to Eastwood. Eastwood with the double kill. And all that's left is now Jinx Tao, the man in the bathroom. With low HP, almost going to get wall banged right there. But he will be picked up by next one and somehow... Four and five, even though being two men behind from the start, which is a heart preacher and a Thatcher. They Jinx Al this time not going aggressive as Eastwood gets the frag. Jinx Al gets the immediate refrag onto in just to delay the uh, possible flanker. Next one takes down Jinx Al at the, this moment in time. And Hayes walks in. Only Sugal is alive, but not for much longer. It is 4 0 for four and five. And I was scared, Hap, that. The moment they would have the entry kill, they would start to lose the round. <laughs> Yet, uh, Mystic not actually real because the trophies are usually better. Jinxed Al actually has had his four. And no one is going to be there to counter him. And this is moving in right there. We'll just not pick up the pick right there. Has to pull out the wow. sting. We'll get picked up by Jinx in the process. Ed then goes for the defuser. Xugul is just patiently waiting right here for Eastwood to move in. Eastwood gets picked up. That means it's a 2 on 4 situation now, but the defuser has been planted, and one player is in a very good position to make sure that actually doesn't get defused. Wishmaster picks up Ed then. And that brings it into a 1 on 4 situation. Defuse oh is actually no! happening, but he was unaware. Prism gets taken down by Jinx Tao, and that's going to be the first round for Flashpoint on the board. Gage on next one, who was playing downstairs. And Jinx Tao once again with a double kill, manages to run out, takes down both Thatcher and Termite once again. It's going to be losing his life instantly right now. Smoke will not be... Uh, well, he I'm actually saw an ADS in front of him, I believe. Yeah, but this is the idea to just sneak it through and get that frag right there, allowing them to move on forward right here. Picks up another one. Amazing double kill coming in from Hayes as the Candela is now going to get tossed in. Next one takes up one again. It's all going to be up to Xugal. Diffuser is now down. Shots are being exchanged. Xugal picks up one to start the round off with. Two more to find. Two more possible bullets. Maybe three if he wants to get this one for his team. If he wants to bring this to a 4-2. Oh, the Claymore as well from Eastwood just on the diffuser, but next one makes it work in the end. It's 5-1, to one. and that is a great first half from the side of 4-5, and five. coming back from a two-man deficit. And this is job right now, wasting oh! uh, time right here as it beautifully picks up Dreamer. This is going to be the first frag as Eastwood picks up Jinx style. And uh, he's been the top fragger for 4 and 5 so far, and he's increasing his lead even more. <laughs> Another kill coming in on the Wishmaster, and then Prism gets the last one just to steal it from his gold dead hand. That would have been the ace. If he no, no, I think one, right? uh, Ed also got one. Oh, uh, no, Eastwood also. Still holding the angle, and Hayes actually with the peek and onto Jinx Al will have the opener for this round. In goal Someone position to make a play him. right here. Someone looked at him, then went to the left, and he said, well, I'll just check that. Actually, see the barrel of the alibi, but the alibi is still dancing around. Hayes will get another kill. That's free already in this round. He could actually still go for that ace. Yeah, Wishmaster is going to get taken out by the Prisma. That means Hayes will be aware of the positioning of these players. Three, though, picks up next one beautifully. 
right after being tagged by that um, actual Prisma. Hayes is going to get picked up by Wishmaster Dreamer, then picks up Ed as well, and suddenly it becomes a two-on-two -two situation. But don't forget, Prisma is still alive, one-on-two. Is now still that 1v2, one player still uh, just outside. And it's actually Prism now scanning out, knowing where both oh. of them are. That's some amazing play right there. We'll be going for aggressive onto one, oh. but the Claymore will be there. The Azure, or was it actually some C4s going on to Slav, who might actually now spot a foot of Ed. Fuser is already going to get planted. Prism will just be walking into the gunfire of uh, Jinx Tao. But the Diffuser will indeed get down and leaves it all up to Eastwood to try and stall this out for one minute with two canisters. Canister. So there's going to be a mission impossible for him, especially since Jinx Tao is still going to be on that door. We'll be picking up one more frag. And that means that he is going to be down and out for the rest of the game, especially... Oh, actually... Jinx Tao, though, is now on the prowl. Might actually move in. And actually, there's a player around the corner. Hayes. Just standing by, four on two, the Capitao, or oh, wait, Capitao is gone, it's uh, the Eastwood taking the last round in, and uh, here we go, seven to three, despite Hayes actually taking down Prism. That was so painful to see. That was indeed painful to see right there. Start for four and five, Flashpoint have some stuff to do. Yeah, 16 free for next one, that's... Oh? Yeah. yeah. Oh? Uh, yes, yes. Ah, oh, right, right. Oh, he's here. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I'm a little bit sick, but uh, yeah. And you? Uh, you guys? Yeah, we're, we're pretty all right. Yeah, we're we're good. Um, that's, that's how good. do you feel about this match, though? Uh, how was it for you? Did you really live up to your own expectation, or did you really let yourself down and maybe your team? Um, it was pretty decent. I mean, uh, we did good. Mm -hmm. We did a few throws. Yeah, that's for sure. But uh. We were a bit kill greedy. <laughs> well, it happens. Uh, it's classic <laughs> battle looks, you know. Yeah, that's a uh, classic. But uh, I guess we did all fine with the communication. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that was pretty good. All right. Uh, how scared were you of Jinx Style at a certain moment in time? Because his entry kills every round was just amazing. Were you impressed by that, or were you just saying, "Well, we'll just win the round anyway"? Um. I wasn't that scared, to be honest, but uh, there was a miscommunication sometimes because of that with the entry frags. Um, we had no intel. Mm -hmm. That's why we probably got killed from him. <laughs> but uh, he did it good. Yeah. All right. What What is the takeaway for this for next week? Are you just going to say we'll just try to be less greedy despite you knowing that won't happen? Or do you have a lot of, another learning point from this match? Yeah, obviously we need to uh, talk about it. That's not gonna happen ag again. And um, yeah, we had uh, one player that uh, wasn't the best uh, game, but that happens mm -hmm. for everyone. So um, we're gonna talk about it and try to fix it. Yeah, yeah. be nice to each other because that's important, right? Yeah, now. yeah. Being nice definitely helps. You don't want to break up for fights, of course, especially <laughs> after you just yeah. win seven to three. It would be a shame if that is gonna be the case. Yes. So yeah. Um, next week, what are your expectations? Do you have any score predictions for us? Um, I would have say seven three again. Seven okay. three next again. Week. At least consistent. Yeah. That's the way to go. <laughs> maybe at the end of the season you'll get a seven zero. I mean, maybe. I mean, uh, we never know how it's uh, gonna be like how it's uh, ending again. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we are pretty decent. That's why uh, I trust in my teammates. So, Well, that's, that's at least a start to have. Uh, trust in your teammates. Thank you very much for this interview. And thank you very much for winning as well. You gave us a great show.